Bellator MMA, live on Paramount Network from the Windsor World Casino and Resort. We started the night with a heavyweight collision featuring unbeaten Tyrell Fortune. Tyrell Fortune came out very calm, very relaxed, and just decided to pick his moments. And when he decided to open up, he went after Zhu and Yanru, lit him up with that right hand, and ended that fight. Tyrell Fortune is the real deal and will be a factor in the heavyweight division here at Bellator. He is now 8-0. and oh. Then a huge fight at 145, Leslie Smith and Arlene Blenko. What a fight this was. First round, Leslie comes out, heavy pressure, and was doing good work, doing damage with dirty boxing. And then Arlene Blenko came and started utilizing her striking ability. It was that jab with the right hand coming straight down the pipe. She kept touching the mark. And every time Leslie got close, she paid dearly with Arlene Blenko landing big, heavy shots. Leslie never gave up, but Arlene Blenko got the unanimous decision victory. Then our co-main event contracted at 195. Andrew Capel took advantage of this long wait to make it to the big show. And when you get an opportunity, you got to do something, and Andrew Capel did. Watch this right hand. It lands right there. Boom! It doesn't look like much, but it snaps the head of Mo Law. And this fight is over from that moment. Andrew Capel with the biggest win of his life. And the final fight in the career of one of the most entertaining fighters in MMA history, King Mo. Finally, our main event, a middleweight top contender matchup between John Salter and Costello Van Steen. We talked about the two styles of these fighters, how dynamic Costello Van Stinis was and how heavy his strikes were, but how dominating the ground game of John Salter could be in the first two rounds. John Salter put on a clinic of groundwork, but was unable to finish Costello Van Stinis. And then in the third round, Costello Van Stinis turned it on. He started landing big shots, but it wasn't enough to take the fight 29-28 on all three judges' scorecards. Unanimous decision win for the man, John Salter. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com. The Bellator cage has traveled to Israel. Next Friday, Bellator returns to Tel Aviv for a heavyweight clash. He's in trouble! Between hard-hitting Sergei Karatanov and former number one contender, Linton the Swarm Vassell. Plus... He has fought some of the very best. MMA veteran Roger Huerta returns to the Bellator cage. There it is! Bellator MMA, next Friday at 9 on Paramount Network.